Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Okay. We're going to look at how your person is currently feeling about you. So, so far we have ghosted. Some of you may be dealing with a ghosting situation. You may not have heard from someone. We have soulmates. We have proposal and magnetic attraction. I am getting the message for a lot of you. That you may be moving on from the person who ghosted you very soon. I feel that it's a case for some of you where you're still connected to a person who left, but you are meeting a new soulmate or have met. I am getting the, the message that some of you have met someone recently, but you're not really seeing them as a soulmate yet. I don't know why I'm getting that message. Maybe when you get to know this person, you'll realize, but you're going to some kind of next level in love for some of you. Um, I just don't feel like it's with the person who ghosted because unless it's a reason where they ghosted for a reason or you just kind of think they ghosted but they really, for example, lost their phone or something. Let me see what's going on here. What's going on with Libra? The energies between Libra and the person on their mind. What are the energies here between the two? For some of you, I'm getting the message that someone feels ghosted by you or that you're just MIA. Yeah, someone is feeling a bit rejected and they want things. It's like things have stopped or slowed down and they want it to rev back up is what I'm getting. So you may have kind of lost interest in someone or you guys haven't spoken that much lately. Um, your energy towards someone... You may be very attracted to someone at the moment and there may be a very at home feeling with this person. They may make you feel like you're at home. It's effortless. It's an effortless connection. But there may be some distance at the moment. Some of you are kind of indecisive at the moment. There's something that you're needing to release. For those of you who have been ghosted by someone and are, move, and are moving on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You may be finally releasing the feelings for that person who left you and finally choosing someone else. I'm getting multiple messages here, Libra. Meeting some type of king of pentacles. So some of you are meeting a male or female who is very stable, knows what they want, and you can see that right away. Um, this person, I'm getting the message for some of you that they're older. Um, but also... Someone who isn't in your circle or isn't your usual type. Someone totally just out of the blue for some of you. Others of you, I see that there is someone who feels like you guys don't get along. It could be the ghosted person. Um, person who feels ghosted and they want to figure out how to make this work. Someone, I'm hearing that someone wants to show you their true personality because they feel like you would like their personality, that they could impress you with their jokes or something like that. You only have future though, Libra. You have this Queen of Swords. So you're kind of in your own energy at the moment and just being... Hmm. Not letting anyone in right away at the moment. Kind of just observing, thinking situations through. Um... But a lot of you are having a hard time moving on from someone. I feel like that will pass, but I'm seeing that. I see an apology for those of you who have been ghosted, but I'm also seeing that this page of cups is you communicating with this person. I really feel like this person wants to start texting you because they just feel like they can impress you if you would give them the chance is what I'm seeing. What other messages? Okay, baby boom, expecting, conceiving soon. Children involved and family time. Okay, some of you, if you're, not ex if you're not wanting to expect a child, be careful. But this could be good news for some. Um, if you've watched your sun, sun, moon, Venus and rising and this keeps coming up because it has come up for a lot of the signs, then the message may be stronger for you. So let's see. The main event... Reaching the climax in your story, the best part and happy ending.
we have karma and your intuition is correct i've also seen this card come up with the pregnancy card so it could be that some of you are suspecting pregnancy you could be right but for the most part i see somebody really wanting to continue with you or start a relationship with you so let me get into the feelings see what's going on The person on Libra's mind, how are they feeling about Libra currently? One more. <laughs> they would stop being slippery. Oh my gosh. I do feel like Libra is more likely someone feeling ghosted by you because it's like I'm hearing we don't talk anymore that some like we used to so um, they may just feel left out or that you're MIA at the moment could be dealing with a Leo a Pisces oh my gosh Libra so someone feels like you're not putting in effort that could be why they feel they need to impress you a bit more so that you will put more into it or take them more seriously be more into them if this is a long time relationship they feel like you haven't been putting in as much effort as you used to or paying as much attention to them as you used to things may have changed they're having a hard time putting their heart out or expressing their feelings and they feel like there's something hidden in this relationship. They're suspecting that you could be hiding something. They're trying to figure out why the distance is happening. But they do want a positive outcome and they do want to come out of this Nine of Swords energy. But there may be some conflict between the both of you still. And this person isn't trying to make a move right away. They're trying to give it time. But in the position of what you need to know is the two of cups so this does connect with the soulmate card there is someone who is your soulmate but you don't know like i said earlier the message that you may have met someone but you don't know that you don't know they they're your soulmate yet because you haven't given them a chance that's for some of you okay so and i feel like that's for those of you who have been ghosted and you may be focused on the person who ghosted you and not seeing the person who's in front of you who really wants to impress you with their, you know, their jokes and whatever they got up their sleeve to impress you. Um, there is a new start, though, in store for you, Libra. I feel like if it's a long term relationship, there may be forward movement as soon as the conflict dies down. But this is mostly gearing towards those of you who have just met someone. Let me clarify some things. Why the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? King of Cups in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse again. They feel like the love isn't there. Like they're feeling unappreciated is what I'm hearing. They may, they may be jealous about something. Maybe they, they feel like you're seeing someone else or there's suspicion. Why the Ten of Swords? communication they're feeling betrayed could be that they found you texting someone else or communicating with someone else on social media they're kind of stuck in their head about that they feel stuck it could be that they're just still upset about an ending here or a ghosting situation or them just feeling ghosted why the king of cups this person feels like there's something hidden, they're suspicious about something, and they don't want to make a move until they know the truth. So the communication is kind of off until they feel they know what they're getting into or who they're moving forward with. 
Why the Fool in Reverse? This can be vice versa for a lot of you, but... So, Fool in Reverse. The hesitation to make a move. If this person has made promises that they haven't followed through with, it's because of their suspicion. Or just, not, or just being unsure or feeling the way they feel. This person may not want to express that they feel bad. It may be kind of something that they keep quiet about and just become distant and act funny. You know, people are just people just act funny. Um, so if they're saying they're going to do this, this and that and they don't do it, it's because of how they feel. They're unsure if they should put any energy in. And they may put a little bit of energy in and then pull back. That is because they're unsure. Why the five of wands? Some of you are arguing over control. Some, someone feels like the other person is controlling, that they need space. So this could be you feeling like you need space. Whoever is distant felt they need, needed space. Why the Ace of Wands? There may be a new beginning. For some of you, this could be speaking about the person who ghosted you. It could be that this leads you to a new person, like I said. So some of you are letting go of the person who ghosted. They may be just be suspicious and holding back and breadcrumbing because they don't feel confident. Um, and so you end up moving on. But if it's the person that you're currently with, I do see that there's forward movement, but they do feel shut out. Why the moon in reverse? Yeah, this person... They definitely want to rebuild the connection, but they just feel like there's something they don't know. And for a lot of you who are seeing someone new, it could be that they just don't know you yet. You may be a mystery to them. They may have something to reveal to you about themselves. Okay. But all in all, they do want the Ten of Cups with you is what I'm seeing. What are the love messages for Libra? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So someone is either hesitant to do that or getting ready to do that. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's for whoever ghosted you if you were ghosted. And they're missing an opportunity because I feel like you're not waiting for them anymore. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Because I feel, Libra, that some of you may be still looking back at the person who ghosted you. When there's someone, like I said, in front of you who is actually a good soulmate for you. So you're needing to decide... Because if you're still looking in the past, you may not even give this new person a chance. Okay. You may not even be giving this person a chance because you're focused on the past person. What's coming up for Libra? Follow your heart. Fate. <laughs> Triggered and unfinished business. So I'm seeing Libra that you might feel like following your heart is going for that person who ghosted you. But the thing is that person may really trigger you. That person may trigger things in you that need healing, wounds that need healing. So you may be naturally just wanting to go back there because the mind wants to go back to um, what causes you pain. But it's only gonna be a repeat of the pain, a repeat of being ghosted. And I feel that you're just gonna feel like there's unfinished business between you and that person. But the message I got when fate came out is, and follow your heart, fate and follow your heart, is that if you do get the urge to just go on one date with someone, with this person, new, this new person, that you will see that there is a future. But, There's definitely, there's like mixed messages. 
What I am seeing is that you will be ending up with someone here. There will be a new beginning. And you may have to shut someone out in the process. I feel like the ghosted person, they may still be on your mind. The person who ghosted you. If it's you who ghosted this person that you're dealing with or just became MIA with this person, they're still feeling like it's unfinished business with you. They're still gearing towards you. But there's one connection here that is fate. That is a soulmate connection and you're needing to follow your heart on that one. Okay, so Libra, this is what I'm seeing for you. I really hope this was helpful. We have Pisces energy quite a bit. There's Leo, there's Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, yeah, those are the main signs so far. I forgot what signs came out earlier. Those are the main signs right now. Mostly Pisces and Leo and Aries and Sagittarius. So hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.